All right, so here you are uh, setting up your booklets, and uh, you want to know how you get your photo, uh, you know, so that it'll show up in your booklets. Well, you scroll down here under the area where it talks about your photo. Now, first, you'll notice it can only be as large as this, 160 pixels high and 140 pixels wide. In a minute, I'll explain what a pixel is. It's just a unit of measurement, like, you know, part of an inch. So it has to be only that big. And then there's some other issues here. If you say click here for essential photo instructions, the other thing you see is um, the real important thing in this whole list is it's got to be a JPEG uh, file. So it ends in JPG. All right. So those are the two things. Now, what if you notice that your photo uh, is much bigger than this size? It's like huge. How do you shrink it down? Well, on your, on your uh, computer, on, on Windows, there's always a program that's available to do that. Let me show you where it is. Now, depending on your version of Windows, it's going to be slightly different to mine. But you go here where it says All Programs. And let's see, if you, you will find something called Accessories. Everybody has this. It's a folder called Accessories in your program list and if you click on it it'll open up and one of the programs is called paint click on that and it'll open up this program that allows you to change the size and clean up photos all right so now what we want to do is we want to open our photo with this program so we say open and let me see if i can find somebody's photo here give me a second so obviously you got to know where your photo is on your uh, on your hard drive. All right, so I'm going to open this photo. Uh, you'll notice the space is all white, and that's I'm going to scroll down here. That's because this photo is so enormous that <laughs> that that all I'm seeing is the white space. All right, so first of all, I know I got to shrink this photo down. It's just way too big. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is in paint, you see this thing, it says resize, click on that and make sure this box is checked. It says maintain aspect ratio. So as you change the vertical, it'll change the horizontal, all, you know, and keep everything in proportion. So let's say you told me those instructions said that the vertical can't be more than, oh, the other thing, instead of percentage, I want to click here on pixels. That's the unit of measurement that we're using. That the, it said in the instructions that the vertical couldn't be more than 160. So if I change that to 160, great. This is less than 140, which means my photo will now be within the parameters of being no more than 160 high by 140 uh, wide. All right, so bingo. I now say OK and I have a photo the right size. <clears throat> now there's one other thing I want to fix here. There's too much white space. This person has a photo which is too much white space in it and so I, I, I want to fix that. And the way you do that is, <clears throat> you see it's grayed out right now but it says crop. So if I click on select, uh, rectangular selection, it, if I click on select rectangular I can move this little crosshair thing and out, this is the portion I want because I want to get rid of all that white. Now notice what happened to the crop. It's visible and I click crop. Beautiful. I now save this file, save as, and now save this back to your hard drive <clears throat> and you'll save it. If it doesn't already say JPEG or JPG, you can always click that and that'll always be one of the choices in that little save as type. <clears throat> and I'll save this as, uh, you know, a uh, good photo. Now I got my good photo. I can save it. And, and so now when I go back to my booklet setup, <clears throat> where the photo is, I choose my file. I'm going to remember where you saved it. Let's see, I called it good photo. So it should be alphabetical. There we go choose see now it says good photo I choose choose it off my hard drive I click upload and there it is so now when I publish my booklets
a matter of fact, let's just do that so you see. Scroll down, check to confirm submission, save changes, and it'll direct to, when it's done, it'll bring me to the next page, and so if I open up one of my booklets, there we have the photo.